Okay, so I was asked to speak on uh, shadow work and healing chakras. Well, you know, um, what, uh, whenever you're doing spiritual work, you are working on your shadow work. Everything that arises in every moment is your shadow work, you know, relationships, thoughts, feelings, images, that's all the shadow. If there was no shadow work to work on, then one would be in a state of infinite bliss, infinite light, uh, um, beyond beyond the body, beyond thoughts, beyond feelings, beyond this world even. So if you're existing, if you're experiencing body, yourself as a body and other bodies and, and, and contrast in relationships and thoughts and images, that is your shadow work. That's your shadow. That's uh, illuminating itself to be transcended in every moment. Aspects of your hidden shadow are, are arising uh, for the option of transcendence or not transcendence. You can either work to let whatever is arising go or not, or choose not to and keep the stuff. Uh, so so that is shadow work. So just if you're, if you're committed to doing spiritual work in every moment, then you're committed in releasing aspects of the shadow that's arising in every moment, you see. While there is dualistic separated existence, then that's, uh, that, that says there's still more shadow work to work on. Now the chakras. I mean, I you know I trained in Reiki, spiritual healing with the National Federation of Spiritual Healers here in London. I had all kinds. Of, I spent many years and and thousands of pounds on healers and trainings and all kinds of things. Um, so I went through that kind of like exploration. But actually, at the end of the day, I like uh, what Hawkins said, which is you know I mean just something very very powerful like the course in miracles or 12 steps or um or self-inquiry uh you know will continuously get you to work on your shadow stuff but you know you don't you know this thing of like you know visiting a healer and or just visualizing your chakras spinning around and getting healed or just energies flowing up um uh, up the spine i mean for me it's it's not necessary to to go that detail because you know each chakra has its own lessons for transcendence, you know, like lust, you know, um, things to do with the lust, things to do with the power, things to do with the heart, with the voice, uh, with the third eye discernment. You don't need to, you know, spin your chakras around and, and learn it. Because as you do your spiritual work, all of this stuff automatically comes up to be healed. So you then just, um, if issues around lust and, and sex are coming up, you transcend those you spiritually work on those and if um, things around power in relationships is coming up and control then you just release those and automatically as you do the spiritual work on all of these issues um, the chakras are coming into alignment and your spiritual energy is rising and all the all the things that are holding you down into those lower chakras into those lower levels of spiritual consciousness are deleted just by doing the, the spiritual work as these things arise, whether it's lust, whether it's relationships, whether it's the heart, whether it's communication or whether it's spiritual discernment. You know, they actually come up in divine order. You don't have to, like, uh, do energy work um, because they'll automatically come as you resolve your spiritual work. Um, they Your chakras automatically come into balance. Many people, I mean, you can sort of go to these energy healers or do these energy courses, but for me, it's not necessary. Um, just do, uh, do something, uh, just resolve all the, your issues with lust, or with power, with relationships, with, with unconditional love, with speech and communication and honesty and integrity, and uh, the capacity to discern um, people in truth from people um, tied to illusions all of those automatically come as you do your spiritual work um, there is this thing of energy work which i which for me is is, is not necessar necessary to spend thousands of pounds and twirl your chakras around if you do that stuff it's beneficial but it's not the deep work so it gives you um, it will definitely give you a lot of relief and some healing 
but you know just uh focusing on doing the the everyday spiritual work will automatically heal your chakras and your energy alignment around you know all the different various chakras like you know the the base chakra the sexual chakra the uh, the power relationships control uh, the heart unconditional love of controlling uh, the voice speech of fear and uh, spiritual discernment so all of those things you know you automatically resolve you don't have to do a course or, or blow energy up your spine or just uh, get someone to twirl their fingers around and get your energies of your chakras vibrating the right direction i did all that and it's very it's fun but uh, you don't need you don't need to do that in my view well you can if you want to there's no problem 